Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Yashika. Hope you all are doing good. So today I'm gonna show you how to create a UI policy or what is the use of UI policy. In the interviews, this is a mostly asked question that what is the difference between the UI policies and the client scripts. So both are same. There is a slightly difference. So I will show you what is the difference. Okay, so let's begin. So I have created uh, one catalog item already. Let me show you. Mm, yeah. It is a demo. Yes, I have created one catalog item that is named as uh, demo service now. I will show you both uh, about the UI policies and the client scripts and uh, I will give you the real time example also. I guess it's a bit slow network is a bit slow today. But it has been opened. So let me first open one duplicate tab of it. And uh, I will show you first what is the like uh, what I have created in the service catalog. Uh, I have created like one comment, one assignment group assigned to categories and address. Okay. Now my requirement is when I select the category um, laptop. Okay. Then the address should be mandatory. When I click uh, or uh, my requirement to suppose it is that whenever the category is selected, then address will visible. Otherwise, it will be in hide mode, okay, and comment will become mandatory. So, how can I do that? So, okay, for this, uh, I'll show you about the UI policies. So, for UI policies, we can create the fields read only, mandatory, visible without scripting. And with the use of the client script, we use it through the scripting. And uh, one more thing I want to add on that firstly client script will run after that UI policy will run. If any conflict occurs, then the UI policy will run over the client script. Okay, so this is the mostly asked question in interviews that UI policy will run first or the client script. So client script will run first after that UI policy will run. So I'll create when you uh, click on the section catalog UI policies under when you scroll down. So click on the new. Okay. So when you click on the new, so it applies to the catalog item and uh, catalog item name is demo service now. Uh, it's been loading. Yeah, the now full form has been loaded. Okay. Uh, so what is the uh, condition when the catalog when when a UI policy will run so whenever the category okay whenever the that's not it uh, is one of okay move is one of laptop mobile headset uh, if any is the one of then our address would be visible okay uh, we have to give the short description so i am giving short description like uh, what is uh, about the ui policy why you are creating this to understand the other developers also so i am writing here visibility of address field okay so make it say And uh, there is a scripting part also in the UI policy. So our condition is whenever the category is one of. So when you check this run script part. Or, uh, network is a bit slow. That's why it's creating problem. Okay. Uh, when you checked it. So whenever like uh, uh, category is one of the anything. If this condition is true, then write that. Uh, like a scripting part here executive true and executive false whenever the 
condition is false then you write the part here suppose i am writing one if uh, is true g underscore form sorry g underscore form dot add info message suppose i want to add one info message so i am adding please fill the address okay then semicolon and then save it so till now we did the part that when a ui policy run like whenever someone select the category then it will run but uh, what action it will take so we'll create one ui policy action okay so we'll create a new action what action will it create if the condition met then what action will do so variable name address okay um up if you want to le uh, do the mandatory then you can do that okay <coughs> mandatory visible true and read only uh, let us leave alone if you want to make any field read only then also you can do that okay so let me do one more thing i want to add on to show you <coughs> actually by default what is happening uh, one of the field one of the like category is selected by default so i'll do that that none i'll add it as a none it's a address it's loading yes so i what i will do now it's not coming conditions okay i have added address sorry i need to open the category sorry 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 I need to open the category part. So yes, in type specifications, we have like we can add the none also. Yes, it is multiple choice now, so that's why it is include none. We can include none, and then save it now you can reload the form just and see what happens see now address field has been disappeared it is in hide mode if i select the laptop then address field will appear so this is the purpose of the ui policy you can also do this through the client script but uh, that is a like uh, uh, you can say uh, in comparatively to UI policy, it will become complicated. You can do without coding in the uh, UI policy, and it is see our info message are also coming over. Please fill the address. Okay. Now, if I want that, uh, if I select the laptop, then please fill the address. Then uh, comment will become mandatory. Okay. So I will create one more UI policy here. <coughs> go to the ui policy we have visibility of address field and we can create one more uh, ui policy to make the comment section mandatory make comments mandatory okay and what is the condition categories is one of okay let me do category is uh, mobile okay if category is mobile then only comment section will become mandatory so what we will do now now we will create one action that when category is mobile then what action will be created what action will happen so when category is mobile then comments will become mandatory visibility part as it is already okay okay 
So we just reload this form. And if I select the mobile, see, comment become mandatory and address will appear. So this is the use of the UI policy <coughs> in the catalog. And if I want to do some changes on the incident form, suppose, uh, let me show you on the incident form also. This is the for the catalog. Uh, suppose there is an incident, okay. It is in the self-service view. Let me open in the default view. Just uh, go to this three lines click on these lines and you will see here view and click on the default view then the default view of the incident form will open okay so here if i want if a state is on hold then it is already here okay if a state is on hold then impact become mandatory we can do it okay so how we can do that just configure UI policies here it is configure UI policies leave it so we can create the new UI policy here it is on the table incident short description make impact mandatory okay so when to apply it is the same as we do in the catalog item just uh, that was for the catalog UI policy that we created for the catalog item but it is for the table incident this is the only difference if state is on hold okay this is our condition then impact will become mandatory Okay, or we can do that, uh, we can make any field read only, okay, I'll show you for any field read only, um, configure UI policy, oh, sorry, 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 I'm changing the view, default view, okay, uh, if a state is on hold, then caller category will become read only, okay, so we are doing it, uh, let's create UI policy action so we have applied a condition when state is on hold and uh, after that what will it do it will make the category uh, where is category yeah, here it is category will become read only okay so let's do that okay with the same order just make impact mandatory okay so let's guess it's may happen or not no it's not we and because there are multiple ui policies actually for the same order for this field for the category okay <clears throat> let me do the impact only impact impact uh, oh, i'm not able to get the impact here it is impact make the impact read only okay mm, unsaved let me do that so if i make the state on hold then on hold reason oh, yeah impact will become read only it works it is working uh, state uh, is on hold then impact is yes it is working so i hope now uh, you got the point about the ui policies and the client scripts